Today we're replacing, or I shouldn't say replacing, but uh, removing these two bolts. One there, one there. On the passenger side of a Tiffin Breeze 32BR. So you're looking at the passenger side. And we're installing the safety plus in the bracket. And the safety plus for the Tiffin. This bracket actually goes underneath the tie rod there. You, know, you watch the video they, from Safety Plus. They, uh, the only video they actually have is for the Ford, which actually doesn't make any sense. But regardless, uh, I didn't see anything out there for the Tiffin. This is a 2012 Tiffin Breeze 32BR. Uh, it goes underneath the tie rod. And then the clamps they actually go over the top like so and the bracket on the bottom and then the fat end of the safety plus actually goes on the passenger side and that'll go where these nuts are coming off right there this bracket with the angled end goes up inside like that. And you'll see the angled end goes toward the tire. So it's like that. And it goes up onto those bolts after you remove those bolts. So now we're in the process of using the, I believe it was a 5 16 socket. Try to do uh, with the air wrench, and that'll go up on that bracket. Oh, those two nuts gotta get removed. They get put back after you put the flat bracket in. So, Buffalo Bills. okay, the nuts are off. The bracket goes, like I said, the angled side facing the tire. These are uh, fine thread bolts. There's two of them. They come with a washer and a nut. You got to make sure you take this end here, always goes down. So like there's a little crown end here, you see it? It's kind of like a lug nut, but uh, so the lug nut, this end goes on first. But with this one, the flat end goes up. The recessed end like that is down. So you got that. And then the washer goes on top of it. And then that goes back up on the bolt that you just took off. Like it says, the uh, angled end toward the tire. Alright, we got the bracket on the tie rod, like I said. It goes underneath. There's a little groove where it pulls around the tie rod. And the small end goes on the top. And see where the nut has the rounded end on the bottom. It's a thread, uh, fine thread bolt. So that'll actually act as a locking nut. The fat end is on this end. That goes underneath that one that mounts up there. So it actually goes underneath. And this again is a 2012 Tiffin. 32 BR will be the same frame as the uh, 28 so I noticed there was no videos on here so I'm doing a video on how to install this and now I got to do is tighten these up and then basically I already have the wheels aligned so hopefully there's no adjustment needed but like they said there's just fine adjustments if so also when they say about it that it goes in this hole here the inside hole not the outside hole and the reason for that is because if it went over, it would hit the uh, the shock, so it stays on the inside here. And the only reason they have the hole on this side is because uh, it's for units that would go on the top of the tie rod. So again, it'd be inside hole if it was on the top. But this tipping is on the bottom, it goes underneath the tie rod. So that's all you need to know. 
just explaining why there's a hole on this side. And again, underneath on that bracket, on top on this bracket. If you look at the directions, they suck. I mean, it's really is stupid for the amount of money they spend or they charge that you'd think that the Safety Plus would have better instructions, an actual picture. I mean, this is bullshit, but I don't know. This is something I would think wasn't from America. This would be more of a Chinese or I'm not even sure. I'd have to look to see where this Safety Plus is made. Maybe the instructions are made overseas. I don't know. It's stupid for when you have a company like that that's charging so much money, you'd think they'd have a better. Uh, I gotta even say that. You'd think they'd have more of one video showing you how to put it on a Ford chassis and then leaves it up to other people to figure it out. It's not hard to figure out. It's just that today you'd think that they'd have better instructions. So I'm not giving them too good a credit for their instruction part. All right. Talk to you later.